Hey everybody, my name is Nick Bockenfeld, Chief Growth Officer here at Control. Today we're going to be talking about how to calibrate your sensors. Our sensors are highly accurate and provide us with crucial data that we use to give you your feedback. It is extremely important that the data provided by the sensor is of the highest quality. To ensure this, the sensors need to be calibrated. Our sensors are calibrated at the factory before they ever reach you, but it is possible that they may need to be recalibrated once they are in your possession. Our application will detect if a sensor is in calibration mode once you connect to it and it will display a pop-up to you. The sensor's LED will be orange, even if it's off the charger, to signify that it is in calibration state. The calibration process is very simple. First, you'll need a flat, level surface to lay the sensor on. The sensor needs to be laid flat on each of its six sides for one minute a side to complete the calibration process. It is important that the sensor is not moved during the process except when switching sides. When the LED is solid orange, the sensor is calibrating that particular side. After one minute, the LED will turn solid blue to indicate that it has completed the calibration process for that side. Quickly rotate to a different side that has not been calibrated to sp start that process for that different side. Repeat this step for all six sides of the sensor. After the sixth side is complete, the sensor will blink green if the calibration process was successful. If the surface was not flat or the sensor was moved too much during the process, the LED will blink white to indicate the process has failed. After the LED blinks white, signifying calibration failure, the sensor will go back to calibration mode after 7 seconds. Please repeat this process if this is the case. This process is extremely important for our data capture and ensuring that your feedback is spot on. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.